Panjia Aviation Academy Kajansi Flying School is to train personnel willing to attain commercial licenses in the aviation sector. This will be the second of its kind to issue licenses above private pilot licenses complementing Soroti Flying School. This is aimed at lessening the number of students flying out of the country to access commercial training licenses. Soroti Flying School is currently challenged by a backlog of students. Here in Uganda there is uh, very few options for pilot training which means that generally Ugandans with the abilities will go to South Africa, maybe Kenya, Europe or the USA for their training. So along with Soroti, the national school, Panjir Aviation Academy is pushing to bring professional level courses which will allow you to be a international commercial pilot uh, flying airliners all around the world, hopefully one day with the national airline here in Uganda, Uganda Airways. In order to promote competitiveness with pilots, the train in international countries, National Council for Higher Education has to consider the aviation licenses as professional qualifications. Yeah. Furthermore, SMEs should venture into manufacturing pilot training uniforms, maps, flight bags, which are currently imported by the academy. This will promote local content. A further possible avenue to discuss with government is the sharing of fiscal costs of aviation fuel used during training. This can take the form of waiving the tax on aviation fuel used during training in an easily trackable and accountable system monitored by government. The revival of Uganda Airlines is a motivation enough to produce highly skilled and trained pilots and other flight attendants to meet the aviation demand. Similarly, domestic traffic recorded a 41.9% growth from 18 824 to 26 711 passengers, while commercial aircraft's movements registered a 10.4% growth from 29 327 in 2017 to 32 386 in 2018. While in the next 20 years, airlines will have to add around the world 25,000 new aircraft, according to a study by IATA and Boeing. And this will, this will entail a need for 350,000 pilots to fly them by 2026, barely seven years from now. Airlines across the globe are expanding their fleets and flight schedules to satisfy demand generated by global economic expansion. While over the next 20 years, Africa's demand for pilots will stand out of that 350,000 at 24,000. Currently, 100 pilots are available for local jobs and only one instructor is certified to train instructors in the country. That should be a clear signal that something went wrong and needs to be fixed. Mugabe Cloud, in his early 30s, enjoys flying over. Like a beast. That was just for, uh, for fun, yes. He flies a Pilatus type of plane that floats 30,000 feet, about 9 kilometers high. His confidence while flying the Pilatus has been a huge investment of a kind in his life. Okay. When I was in Soroti Flying School, that time we paid about uh, $18,000 that time. At the moment, it's going until $30,000 to get... No, 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 to finish the whole course, which takes about two years. This is the reason why many forego joining the aviation sector, even though there are abundant opportunities. The cost of training airplane pilots stands highest among the professional aviators at about $50,000 before they are airline worthy. The government has been meeting 15% as far back as 1993, and then eventually 50% training course in training Ugandans at Soroti's Academy since 1993. This is 26 years ago. He has flown some of the big people and has made several international flights, but what do pilots do about fatigue while in space? That's all under rules and regulations that uh, you have to make sure before your flight you're ready for it, you're prepared for it, and uh, your body is okay, and uh, you've had enough rest. Yeah. No medication. No. At least 25 graduates are now captains after being awarded private pilot licenses from Kajansi Flying School. This is equivalent to a diploma. The industry you chose to join requires high level of discipline, dedication, and commitment. 
I encourage you to continue pursuing professional and career growth and advancement, and above all, maintain excellency and integrity in your service. Ivan Kahwa and Sandra Kahunde, UBC News.